What's up guys, JV2017 here, and while I don't like to harp on the negative, today's video is a continuation on the conversation we had yesterday about Fallout 4's DLC announcement. I forgot to touch on a very important point with the creation kit and console mods, so I figured it was worth another whole 10 minute conversation and discussion in and of itself. So let's take a look at a timeline on console mods in the creation kit to kind of get our facts straight before jumping into this. Console mods were first announced by Todd Howard at the Microsoft press conference at E3 of 2015 last year. So that was June 16th through June 18th, which is about eight months ago from now. And he said on stage that, quote, mods created on PC will be able to be transferred, played, and shared for free on the Xbox One. And I don't think it was in this exact quote, but also early 2016 was pretty much the time frame that was given. Originally, this was an idea that seemed exclusive to the Xbox One since it was at the press conference and not for the PS4. Now, I'm sure this is not the first instance of them mentioning PS4 mods, but on July 7th, which isn't that long after, last year, Todd Howard said in an interview that official creation kit mods would come to PC, Xbox One, and then PS4 in that order. So as most of you know, the DLC was announced a few days ago for Fallout 4, and Bethesda also said, we're also hard at work on the creation kit, which will allow you to create and play mods absolutely free. We're currently testing it now, and more details will be forthcoming. So we have gotten what I would call a legitimate update, but not a concrete time frame on its release. And as of now, February 22nd, the day I'm uploading this video, the creation kit is not out for PC yet. If Todd's interview back in 2015 still rings true, then we'll have to wait for the PC to get the creation kit first, then it should come to Xbox One, and then PS4. So it's really anyone's guess when the creation kit will roll out for each console. It's really just a waiting game. So now that we've got those facts nailed down, let's talk about the popular criticism slash rumor that Bethesda is purposefully withholding the creation kit until after their DLC comes out in order to force console players to buy their DLC first. Let's get one thing straight. Bethesda has said that the creation kit and mods will be completely free, so we shouldn't expect for those things to be locked behind DLC, unless of course they go back on their word, which I wouldn't assume they would. And if I'm understanding this correct, the rumor is that Bethesda knows console players are starving for content and is strategically holding back console mods so that players who have run out of things to do in their game will have no choice but to buy the DLC or the season pass and commit to that. And furthermore, this paid content is supposed to satiate the console crowd before they roll out the creation kit for both consoles, but they've already paid for the DLC, right? So it's kind of like they've already got their money. I'll admit there's probably a lot milder forms of this, uh, you know, rumor slash criticism. But again, like much of the other DLC criticisms that I've talked about, I think this one is a fairly serious accusation without any proof. If it were true, it would be a really slimy business move. And I think it would actually tarnish their reputation if it was like exposed if this were, you know, something that was kind of like a scandal. While I don't have an inside scoop on what's going on at Bethesda, I don't believe this is true. In multiple interviews, Bethesda has explained how they've had to work with Microsoft and now Sony to really launch this new system. We've never had, you know, console mods like this. We've never seen officially supported mods before. So I'm sure whatever kind of, you know, coordinated technological effort that they had to go through has really taken a lot of time in order to set this system up. And you may be wondering, well, what about the creation kit on PC? You know, they've done that before, so why isn't that out yet? Well, if you look at Skyrim, that creation kit came out on February 6th of 2012, which is just under three months after that game was released in 2011. So clearly it has taken Bethesda longer to get the creation kit out on PC for Fallout 4. And you know, that could be because they're simultaneously working on rolling that out for consoles. Again, it's really anyone's guess on why we're waiting for this. You know, I think it's really up to, are we waiting because Bethesda is a slimy business company and they're trying to make money off of us and forcing us to buy these DLC, you know, packs in order to, you know, give us something to do because we're so gosh darn bored with the game. Or is it that this stuff is legitimately taking time? It's legitimately taking time to set up. It's taking longer than it has before because they're introducing these new systems. You know, we don't know. The VP of PR and marketing at Bethesda, Pete Hines, has actually tweeted about this in the past few days. Somebody said, it's not the $60 price that is rattling about the change. 
is that it's before the creation kit is released, talking about the DLC and the season pass. And Pete responded by saying, we're getting things out as soon as we can get them done. Not going to hold DLC if we finish it because of creation kit. So he's basically saying, we are going to push out the content that comes out first, that is ready first. And this is obviously, you know, a public perspective or, you know, kind of a perception that he can put out about Bethesda very easily. Of course, that's a very honorable thing to say, right? If they're going to finish something, they're going to put it out. You know, that would make sense. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm not trying to suggest that Pete Hines is, you know, the person perpetrating the perception that, you know, they could have, you know, or they, there's no way they could release the creation kit before the DLC or vice versa. He's basically saying, essentially, we're not going to hold back content that's ready to go and nothing is ready to go at this moment in time. That's what I read into uh, with that tweet. All in all, I think we all need to calm down about this. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's really productive to sit around thinking about how Bethesda could be cheating us, you know, how, you know, they're trying to swindle us into paying for DLC and whatnot. We just don't have enough proof, you know? It, we can speculate about this stuff all day long. We don't have proof that this is happening. I don't even think it's worth, you know, worrying about unless we have proof. And I think that's true with a lot of things. A lot of these DLC, you know, announcement controversies and criticisms, we don't have proof. We can't, you know, indict Bethesda on doing something that we don't know if they've done or not. I think the most reasonable explanation is, again, these systems have taken longer to roll out. And it just so happens that their DLC has also taken a little bit longer. And therefore, the creation kit may come after DLC. And I realize that's kind of an outside optimistic perspective. But I don't like to be pessimistic. I don't like to, you know, look for problems, right? I don't want to search for those things. That's not really what I'm about. And so personally, I don't see this as a huge issue. It is an unbearable wait. You know, the DLC has taken a while. I've already talked about how long that's taken. I've already kind of shared my criticism about that on my previous video. But I think we all need to take a deep breath. But say you don't want to wait. You don't want to wait for these console mods. You think they should come out before the DLC because you think they're bullying you into buying the DLC because you have nothing to do before offering this free content. Because let's say that, you know, the free mods are going to be enough entertainment for you and maybe even be more entertaining than the DLC that they're releasing. That seems to be another facet of this criticism, you know, that people are making about the console mods and kind of the release date of the creation kit. And I think we can't make that judgment at this point. We don't know what the creation kit's going to bring in terms of, you know, what we're actually going to be able to do. He did say that we can essentially essentially take any PC mod, at least how I'm reading it, take PC mods created on the PC and be able to transfer, play them and share them for free on Xbox One. He didn't say any mod. I highly expect them to be curated in some form or fashion. I expect Microsoft or Sony to not allow nude mods, for example, to get on there because that would be the most popular thing. You know, that'd be like a selling point for Fallout 4 after release now that the creation gets out. No, now you can do nude mods. You know, that could turn into a whole thing. I don't foresee that happening. And for that reason, I do believe it's going to be curated. And also for the reason that I think it's going to be curated, we don't know if, you know, the creation kit is going to bring about enough content to keep people entertained, or at least to a certain degree, to where they wouldn't want to buy the DLC. Clearly, since I've been talking for the past eight or so minutes, this is a fluid issue. This is an issue that's, I think, subjective. It really is. It depends on where you're coming from, if you can get the DLC, if you really can't wait for the DLC, if you're patient, all of that stuff. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below what you guys really think about this whole situation. You know, what are your criticisms of this, if any? And do any of these issues worry you at all? Share all of that below. All right, guys, today we talked about the creation kit and future console mods for Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.